Kira. Now, a few weeks ago, our roving reporter Ian Dickinson was in the UK looking at how the supermarkets in the UK are faring and how do they compare to what's happening over here. Now, he's back in New Zealand and he's just doing a quick roundup of other things that he saw before he returned. Ian. Got it, John. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. And having had the chance to reflect on our visit, uh, there were a couple of things I just thought would be appropriate to share with you. Uh, first of all, was just an observation, really. Um, and it was something we've not quite got in New Zealand yet, but using self-checkouts, I always find it very curious in the supermarkets that there was, in essence, an iPad just slightly above your eye level with your own image on it. And all the time you're using self-checkouts, you are being filmed. And what I understand is that's a theft prevention measure. Um, and apparently psychologists tell us that uh, people are less likely to steal if they can see their own image being filmed. And I found that very curious. Um, I think my other main observation would, share, would be the sheer um, size of the supermarkets is just incredible now in the UK. The, the price difference is, is wonderful. And I'm, I'm very curious about the impact of the kind of ultra low um, cost supermarkets like Aldi. Um, the visit just showed that um, I think there's room in the New Zealand market um, for, for these um, ultra low um, operators, perhaps like Aldi or Netto is another brand that's present over there um, and how they um, borrow, um, let's say, um, goods and brands um, and produce very low cost alternatives. And I think it's something that if we were to see those happening or, or occurring and appearing in New Zealand would give people a genuinely viable alternative, um, a lower price alternative um, to some of the big operators we have. Um, in New Zealand. So they'd be my main observations, John, but it was a very interesting experience.